Kills Corner back again. See this article by Keith Eidick, Boxing Scene. Davis Gamboa dealing works for December or early 2020. <clears throat> Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave comments in the comment section. Word. Kills Corner, baby. So as you say, let's get into it. Oh, also, Killer Kid 2, my podcast, word. Me and my co-host, Shannon Leslie, look for it because it's coming. Killer Kid, Killer Kid 2 means everything in Swahili. And that's what we talk about on the show. Everything, anything. Can't wait to get callers in and all that. Word. Now let's get back to the audience. A deal for Javante Davis, first fight since his move to lightweight, likely will be completed soon. Multiple sources have informed boxing scene that negotiations are ongoing for Davis to fight Yokuris Gamboa. Either December 7th or sometime early 2020, Gamboa beat Roman Rocky Martinez by second round knockout on the Davis Ricardo Nunes undercard July 27th at a sold out Royal Farms Arena in Baltimore and has campaigned for a fight versus Davis. Showtime, which was which is televised Davis past six fights, either live or a network pay-per-view, is expected to air the bout. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, Davis promoter, and Mayweather promotion CEO Leonard Ellaby explored putting together a 130-pound title unification bout between Davis and rival Tevin Farmer, following Davis' second-round knockout of Nunes. Eddie Hearn, who has co-promoted Farmer in the past four fights, offered Davis $5 million to fight Farmer, but only if Davis and Farmer were streamed by Dazzin in which Hearns Matchroom Boxing is affiliated. Mayweather wanted a Davis Farmer fight to mark Davis' debut as a Showtime pay-per-view headliner. So, no dice with the Farmer fight because of promotions. Course. Now, Gamboa, once it became clear that that wouldn't happen. Mayweather and LB turned their attention towards finalizing the Gamboa bout for a 24-year-old Davis. Powerful Southport from Baltimore is believed to have recently requenished, requenished his WBA Super 130-pound championship in part because Gamboa's handlers informed Davis that the 37-year-old Gamboa wants to fight Davis at the lightweight limit, not the super featherweight maximum of 130. The Gamboa box to Martinez at the contract to catch weight and he wants to fight Tank Davis, says that catch weight too. Cuban-born Gamboa, 30 wins, 2 losses, 18 knockouts, hasn't weighed in at 130 pounds since December 2012 when he defeated Mike Ferranis by unanimous decision in their 12 rounder. So the Davis-Gamboa winner is expected to become the mandatory challenger for WBA lightweight champion Velassi Lamacheco. Word. It's about time. Word. Now, Tank Davis, Corn Aaron Pierce, my son, it's his favorite fighter. Tank Davis will beat Gamboa. Why? For two reasons. Tank is relentless, comes forward, and he punches. Gamboa will not punch enough. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gets stopped in the later round. That's a prediction from Kills Corner, baby. Hands up. Chin down. Keep punching. Wow, wow, wow. Gamboa, you're going to have to punch in this one to keep Tank off, baby. And I don't think you got the goods to do it. Word. And now, I'm out.